What is up guys, Charlie Ping is here. Welcome to another tutorial video. Today we're creating an advanced t-shirt design in Illustrator. I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through how I go about making a design that's more complicated. And if you guys get lost at any point, don't forget, you can pause the video, you can rewind, you can slow it down, all that good stuff. So don't stress about it, guys. Anyway, we're gonna get into it, but before we do, I wanna give a huge shout out to my sponsor today over at bookmark.com. Bookmark.com uses AI to build a website for you. All you have to do is answer seven easy questions and the website practically builds itself. It's like magic and after you build your website, you have full customization over it so you guys can integrate e-commerce into it you can change colors and fonts and stuff like that it's really really cool if you guys want to sign up to build a website you guys can do that using the link in the description below let's go ahead and start designing now using illustrator so open up illustrator and let's get started all right so i'm in illustrator now and the first thing i want to do is hit create new and i'm actually going to make a, a slightly smaller document since i can blow this up to any size later on which is why i personally prefer using illustrator over photoshop back in the day i used to use photoshop only but now that i know the benefits of illustrator it's kind of a no-brainer to use illustrator for any type of design work unless you're doing image manipulation then photoshop would be the better option and i don't mind working with a nice square document that's fine and and from here, what I wanna do is I just wanna start building the foundation of my design, right? So for this one, I'm gonna go for a full design. I'm gonna go for a full look, right? So I want this to be very intricate looking and I want it to have a lot of layers and we're even gonna add some color to it at the end of this video. So um, again, I need to keep all that in mind. The first thing I wanna do is drag out a circle. That's gonna be where our full centerpiece sits. And this can be more of an oval if we wanted to, but I think I'm gonna go with the circle on this one. I'm gonna copy that, so I have two of them. So I'm probably gonna put some text in the center here, make that a little bigger, and let's actually increase the size here. So this thing's gonna have some cool stuff going on, right? We wanna make sure um, this really looks full when it's done. What I'm gonna do is take this middle circle again and duplicate it one more time, and we're going to resize it. So we're gonna make it pretty small, and we're gonna put it under one of those um, circles so it's gonna look like it has dimension right now we have something going on right like I can probably put like a date right here um, maybe some lyrics to it for a band I'm thinking I might go get a centerpiece real quick and throw that down just so I know kind of what I'm doing immediately in my head I have this idea of putting a sword in the center going through the center so I'm gonna try that out and see what happens it might look cool it might not but we never know until we try so we're gonna copy that over paste that in place and we're gonna have that going down the center just like this. And we can make it even bigger if we wanted to. What I'm doing is selecting all the highlights of the sword and making sure they are white so everything's matching. What I wanna do now is kinda of position the sword where I want it. So I think I'm gonna have it more like right here in the center, kinda of like this. And I think that looks pretty cool. And I wanna have the bottom part kinda of going through the circle if that makes sense. So in order to do that, what I'm gonna do is do copy. So now I have one in the front and back and I'm just gonna delete the front out right here. So I don't want that to show, right? So I'm just gonna delete this part. That looks pretty cool. I love the way that looks. One thing I need to keep in mind is color because I wanna add color to this later on. So I kinda wanna add a thin white stroke around everything so I can select individual parts of the design and add color where I wanna add color, if that makes sense. Because I'm probably gonna bring this into Photoshop, add some grunge to it and stuff like that. So anyway, you, you kinda wanna think about all that stuff. So what I wanna do is select certain parts of this and add those strokes I was referring to. That way we can, um, again, add color later on, so. I just finished creating all the white strokes around all of the shapes that I already laid down. And what that's going to do is later on when I wanna add color, I can do that really easily in Photoshop. So that's exactly why I wanted it to be this way. And I can even add color in um, Illustrator first, but I plan on texturing this design. So I'm gonna to wait to color it in Photoshop first, but already we have this really cool foundation. The only other thing I wanna do is go back to uh, freepick.com, spelt with a K, and I wanna get some laurels and I'll show you guys what those are in a second. And this is gonna add to this like look that I'm going for, right? So let's go ahead and find one real quick and I'm gonna copy it over to my document now, my design here. And we're gonna use these on the right and left side of this sword here. You're gonna see that in a second. It's gonna look kind of cool too. So we're gonna put one right here. I don't want this to invade my design like it is though. So what I wanna do is actually uh, zoom in on it and delete certain parts of it, right? Cause again, I don't want it to bleed into my sword like it is right now. I don't think it looks really that good. 
So I'm actually going to delete the top part of it just like this. And um, the bottom part, I think it will be all right, um, but it does need to go out just a little bit more, just like this. And I am gonna delete this part right here, just because again, I wanna be able to change the color of these individually. So I think that looks way better. And now we have these cool laurels that are in place, whatever you wanna call them, and we can do a lot with this now, right? So um, I think that looks pretty cool. Now what I wanna do is probably add some elements in the center too, maybe some strokes or something. So what I did is created a new artboard so I can create some different shapes over here without um, kind of messing up my document that I have, if that makes sense. And I just wanna create this like weird line shape, right? So I'm just gonna make a bunch of lines that are really thin, these are way too thick. I'm probably gonna go, let's say, four with them, just like this. I created one line that's four points thick and I'm just gonna uh, hold in option, drag down just a little bit and then do Command D to keep duplicating that a bunch of times, right? And then what I'm gonna do after that is create an ellipse over that and I'm gonna use the Shape Builder to delete certain parts out that I don't want. And it's gonna be really easy, watch this guys. So we're gonna take the Shape Builder and we're just gonna hold in Option and delete those parts out that we don't want. And then I could delete that circle and now we're left with a bunch of lines, see? As simple as that. And now I can take these over to my design. Now I need to make them a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna change the size of that. I just want it to be subtle, right? So now we have those strokes in the center and now it looks less boring. Now we got something cool going on here, guys. Things are happening here, right? Um, so we have this really intricate design going already, but I'm not quite done. I'm not gonna lie, I, there's so much more I wanna do. So let's go ahead and start adding some other elements on the outer side of this design and make it really pop. Hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial so far. You know, around this time is where I get super pumped up on these designs because you start to see what's happening, right? You start to see things come together, come to life, and then, you know, you could later on print this on anything you want, whether that's a t-shirt or other stuff, um, any other merchandise is what I meant. And it's your design, you did it. And that's so amazing. I mean, I remember one time I, I just quickly, I don't want to take up too much time here, but I remember one time I designed for a band called Thy Art Is Murder. It's a huge metal band from Australia. Um, I designed something for them and it was sold in Hot Topic and I went and actually bought my own design from Hot Topic. I was so ecstatic and I actually have the design in my room. I'll have to make a video on that. But anyway, it was just an incredible experience. So it's cool that we get to do this together. Um, let's continue on. What text do we want to add, right? Let's go ahead and find a band where we can kind of use their text. So there's a band called War of Ages that I love. War of Ages, one of my favorite bands right now. Um, lyrics, let's just go to their lyrics and find some lyrics that we can use in this design. So dark lyrics, okay. They have a lyric line that says, my reflection is what I become. I kind of like that one. And the song name is called Warrior. So we're gonna copy that over into Illustrator and use that in the centerpiece here. I just think that would look really cool. So I have the lyric line right here and we're gonna use that somehow. That's all I know in the song, it's called Warrior, so I'm gonna type that out too. So I have all the different elements that I need for the design. And the band is called War of Ages, so we're gonna go ahead and use that too. I'm using a font called Brothers OT for this one, and I'm gonna add a quick warp. We're just adding an arch. See what that looks like. Do I like that? Maybe not. Let's do arc lower, maybe? I didn't really like the way that looks, so what I wanna try to do now is actually add a banner on top. So I'm gonna go to warp and add an arc, and we're gonna copy that same arc. Right, we wanna make sure it does match, just like that. And then now I can take the eyedropper and just copy that center part, and we can have that sword part going over the banner just like this. I wanna expand that banner so I can copy it and put it at the bottom, copying that over, and now we have that at the bottom as well. So we wanna make sure that goes through the center, just like this. Now we have the banners in place, and now I can start adding some text. So I wanna to go to my ellipse. I'm gonna add a work path real quick. For all you advanced users, you know what I'm doing here. Um, if you're not so advanced with Illustrator, then you're probably a little confused, but you can always pause the video. Um, what I'm doing is I'm creating an ellipse shape that's the same um, arc as my banner, so I can add text around it, so it matches the same arc, if that makes sense. So, um, really simple technique, I use it all the time in my videos. Um, and if I make this transparent, you can see where that line's gonna be. So I'm gonna go to my Type on a Path tool, and I'm just gonna type out the band name, War of Ages. We're gonna make that really big in that banner, so it fills up all the space of that banner, and then this needs to go, the text needs to go behind right here. So it's a little hard to read, so we actually need to go to more of a condensed font because I don't think this is actually going to work. I didn't like the way of was sitting right there, so we're actually going to customize it. So I'm kind of making a custom of 
real quick so we can place it where it needs to be. And we're gonna kind of copy the same arc, right? We're just gonna copy it over just like this. I actually wanna move that banner down a little bit. It was just looking a little awkward to me. I think this looks way better now, so um, we're just gonna stick with it. And we're gonna add some other elements to it as well. But for now, I think this looks way, way better. And if I need to, I can go right here Go to my pen tool and add another like little point right here to make it look like the banner is kind of going behind. So I'm zooming really close in real quick. That looks good enough. And we're gonna copy that onto the right side as well. We're doing the same thing for the bottom guys, same exact method, right? We're creating that ellipse just so we can create a work path around it and type some text on it using the type on a path tool. And I'm going to that type on a path tool now. We're gonna type out warrior just like this. And now we're gonna change the um, alignment of it so it fits where it needs to fit. And it's not completely centered, so I do need to fix that. It's a little off. We just wanna make sure it is centered completely so it doesn't look weird. What I wanna do is take this R and actually cut it because it is in my way. So I'm gonna take the pen tool real quick and I'm just gonna select a path that I want it to be cut on. I just created this quick shape and I'm gonna delete it out of the R, right? Because I don't want that R to be there. So we're just gonna quickly delete it. And now it's gonna look like it's behind more. When's this album from? I think 2017. So let's put 2017, because that's when the album was made. So we're gonna put 2-0 under here, just like this. Just really, really small, not too, too big. And it could be a little bit bigger than that. And that can be set to the back. We're gonna do the same thing for the right side. We're gonna do 2017, right? So we're gonna change that to 17 and now we have it right there. So it looks pretty good. We can make sure those are both expanded and in center. I picked a different line from the song, so I'm gonna use Forgiven Redeemed by the Blood of the Lamb. I think that's gonna look a little bit better in there. So Forgiven's gonna be on the left side, Redeemed is on the right side, and the rest is gonna be at the bottom sitting. And we also need to change the, the font size and the kerning and everything, right? So I need to go to my baseline shift and change that so it's in the center more and I need to actually fix the positioning as well. So we're gonna go something like this. So we can kind of left align this, right? So we're just gonna go something like this. We want to kind of hug the sword a little bit and we can change the kerning too. So it says forgiven, let me make sure I spell everything correctly. And then redeemed is on the right side. But first I wanna change the kerning. I'm gonna do copy and then paste that in front. And we're gonna switch this to the right side now just like this. So I think this looks pretty good. So forgiven, redeemed, and then we're gonna put the rest of it, which is by blood of the lamb at the bottom, okay? So it's gonna sit at the bottom. So we're just gonna copy this one over again. We're gonna use that for the bottom half. And then these anchor points have to be adjusted on the left and right side. And then obviously the kerning needs to be changed drastically because it's way too spread out for this part. There's some things that we could do to it, you know, like on this left and right side, it's a little empty right there. So we could totally add different elements to it. But right now I'm more excited to color it and texture it, right? So we're gonna take this design into Photoshop now and add texture and color to it and see what it looks like. Here we are in Photoshop and now I'm just gonna create a new document and we're gonna make this the appropriate size for shirt designs, right? So we're going to make this 14 inches by 17. That's like my go-to at 300 resolution. Everything else can stay the same. I don't want the color mode to be CMYK. We can convert that later on. And now I have my nice document here, right? And then I'm gonna take this design, just copy it, and we're going to paste that into Photoshop. So uh, Command V. The problem with this design is I'm losing detail already when I texture it and I don't want that. So I'm actually going to texture it a different way. Um, but before I do that, what I wanna do is actually get rid of the white out of the background. So I'm just going to do that real quick. So I'm hiding everything else. I'm gonna go to blend options under effects and I'm just going to delete this white right here like that. Now what I wanna do is go to my paint bucket tool and start selecting certain parts and coloring it in. All right, cool, so now it's all filled in. So we have this black and gold look going and I think it looks really cool. Now if we want to, we can texture it. So let's go ahead and find a texture on Google. So I found this texture on Google, it's just a paper texture and I'm just gonna force it inside of the design and I'm going to go to adjustments and desaturate. So adjustments, desaturate, just like this. And then I wanna bring out some of the texture. So I'm gonna go to my levels and bring out some of those textures just like this. 
and um, I want to change the blend mode as well. Just like that. So now we have more of a grungy look. So that's how I would create more of an advanced t-shirt design using Illustrator and Photoshop hand in hand. Um, I do a lot of my texturing in Photoshop and my coloring in Photoshop. And then that's when I would send it off to the print shop if I were to print anything. Um, you can also do everything in Illustrator. You don't have to go to Photoshop, but that's just kind of my workflow. Um, obviously when you're using Photoshop, um, you're not working with vector anymore, right? You're converting that vector file that you just made in Illustrator into a pixel based file or a wrap faster file. Um, but again, it depends on your workflow, guys. Have fun with it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this advanced Illustrator and Photoshop tutorial. If you guys did, leave a like and also comment in the section below. Let me know what you guys think of these types of videos. And also, have a good Thanksgiving, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me. You can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick. You can get high with me.